Hey, what's up, I think? In this section of um, how to be the forum using Rotten Ravel, we are going to be working on our login screen. And basically, this is what we are going to be making use of. So, we've added um, a part where we can see our error messages. And also, yeah, we did it for the register period too. So, basically, you can see the error messages. Now, for the login here, if we, should, we can go ahead and log in actually and we get redirected to another page. Or if we create another new account, we get redirected, redirected to another page. So I should go ahead and add, add the wrong password. The validation still works where we should have invalid credentials. So that's what we are going to be working on. And if I should go ahead and log in with the right credentials, go ahead and click on login. You can see our user has been directed to the home page. So basically, that's what we are going to be working on. And if you like this setup, please make sure you like and subscribe. and also, watch to the end so you understand um, everything that is going on. Let's get started. All right. So what we want to go ahead and do is um first thing I want to do is um is this register. When you click on register, it says rather than change out the error, I want to I want to return the response to the user so that user can see that okay, this video is um empty and uh, and and cool. So basically, what we have to do we can make use of the get slack bar. That comes with um get text. All right, so what we can go ahead and do is go to the authentication of that in this case. Then, um, what we have this else here. Basically, what we can go ahead and do is to get dot. There is um snack bar here, so you can go ahead and call snack bar. So once it's says get us now, I want to make it an error, and uh, instead of using this something like trunk here, basically we are just going to like copy this. I'm just going to paste this right here. And you remove uh, make sure you remove um, this uh, all the codes. Then we are going to select the message from it. Alright. This will give an error because you have to import material of that. So let's go ahead and import import package plotter material of data and um yep, the error should be gone. Okay, so we can save this and uh, let's just auto restart and test it out. Okay, so that's auto restarted. So click on register and go ahead and click on register. As we have the name field is required and three more errors. So I don't want it from the bottom, I want it from uh, the top. So basically, I, I, I use it from the top. I think that one is uh, a little bit more better. So click on register uh, you can see we have our error showing now once that is out of the way let's get um do the login so the login is actually the same as this so i can just copy this you know i can copy this then i can go down so instead of this will be login i'm going to uh, instead of register i'm going to call it login now we need the um, email and password to login so we don't need all these ones then we also don't need um, these ones and this is going to point to the endpoint login. Now this is not going to be um two and this is going to be two hundred. All right then, yep. Basically everything that we need is already done here. As you can see, we can just save this. And we can go to our login page. Where we have um the the login here. First we can go do async. Then go ahead and call await, but before we do that, you know, remember we have to call the get text controller. So we have to do final um authentication controller. Authentication controller equals to get dot put. So what do you want to put to the authentication controller? Alright, good. Then um now right after that we have the await, which is this place. And I'm going to do education controller dot login. I remember, like I said, I, I used to make sure I have trim to remove um white space. All right. So once this is done already, uh, yeah, I want to make sure we have our loading bar. So what you can do is wrap this, the stream builder like we did it last time. Okay. Then we can go ahead and delete all these, and also. We can call this OBX. Now we can go ahead and do application controller dot is loading because 
so once it is loading i want to go ahead and show it circular loading but i have an error here this we are, we are supposed to have this here also i believe all right good so we can save this and uh yeah we should be good to go so basically let, let's just auto restart now let's check it out So it has already started. So let's go ahead and click on login. You can see it is working. I can see username field is required. Okay. Wait, this one is requiring the username. I thought it's I thought it's the username was so we used. Well, let's go ahead and turn this to username. Then this one. Let's just make a username controller. If you have wondering how I selected door, just if you got double click and you press Ctrl D, it's going to select um everything that is the same thing, like the same characters. We have to change this to um username too. So let's save this and let's go to the login. And we have to change this to username. And also this one has to be username. And okay, we should be done. Now we can go ahead and try to log in. If we want to log in, we can go ahead and do the pressures. Oh, sorry. Password. Then we should get uh like the user response right in this place. Nice. You can see we have the user response. Good. Now basically we are logging in. So once we are logged in, there is something we want to do now. So at the top here, you can go ahead and do we can have a final token so this token is going to be equal to an an empty string that is observable because we are going to be appending a value to it so then we also need the guest storage so you can go ahead and get storage hello oh, all right so all we can do is find now they can go ahead and call box we can call this box and you can select the guest storage on it so we have to import the guest storage and we have to do import package get guest storage um is this how to import the guest story because i wonder why my autocomplete is not me in this case so import package sorry package ah and um yeah sorry about that it's to uh, increase um this stuff the font all right good so I want to have package get get storage storage No, I'm just going to copy it from somewhere I know I can get it from. So, um, because initially, if I should do this, it's supposed to import the guest storage. I don't know why it's the to complete is not working for some case. So this is a code. This is a code I wrote also recently. So the guest storage is um, yeah. So basically, I'll be writing the same thing. Package guest storage. Oh. I believe I have to install guest storage also. So, um, get storage. Yeah, so I have to install guest storage. So go ahead and install get storage. And the extension I'm using is um is a that is the default that extension. So if you just join and do control shift P, you select that at the and then yeah, it should work okay all right okay okay it has installed now you can see the error has disappeared so in our login the first thing we want to do is um like once the user has logged in already so i don't want this again i don't want to print out anything so we are going to do um we're going to do token dot value so i'm going to set the value to json 
dot decode uh, which is response dot body so i'm going to select the token in this case then we're going to do box dot try token dot value it's as simple as this so i can copy this also save make sure you save that i'll copy this also and go to the login i can remove this and save this and um once that has been done already and in these views here and our view is just gonna create a new file called home dot dot so this home dot is going to be a stateful widget home page all right so this is going to be a material import package plotter material we just got this scaffold. Yep, so we have text on page. Then now on the special controller here, yeah, what we're gonna do is uh, once the user is logging, we can go ahead and direct the user to not we are not using route distance. So basically, we are going to we are going to use off all. Yep, so we're going to use this. And part that, so basically, it's telling us that once you've logged in, go to the home page. So basically, if the user should click on back, instead of going to directly back to the login page or, or so, it's, it's just going to close the app. So we have it for the login, then also we have to set it for the register, which is right here. Go to save. So let's just auto restart and let's check it out. I'm just going to open terminal here. No, sorry, debug console. All right, so now you can go ahead and log in. Password. Click on login. Are we having in there incorrect? Okay, yeah, I made a mistake here. Because we also have incorrect condition, so the error is working perfectly. Click on login. Yep, I have logged in already. All right, so. I will check if I've logged it actually. So yeah, I can go ahead and do something like final box equals to um yes storage. So once this is here, I can cut this. I can see um var token equals to I can go ahead box dot tree. So I want to read the token. So right here, I can go ahead and cut the token in this place. But you see this 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 should not return our token from your um local storage as you can see all right so that's that's to show that it's actually working all right so we can control z everything in this place and just save all right good so we are done with the login in the next tutorial we are going to be building our own page all right so see you next time peace